Tiga hal yang perlu diperhatikan. Kode pakaian, perlindungan diri, bahan kimia. Kode pakaian ada untuk mencegah terjadi kecelakaan atau cedera di laboratorium. Selalu ikat ke belakang rambut yang panjangnya lebih dari dagu. Jangan pernah memakai sandal atau sepatu berhak tinggi. Jangan pernah mengenakan celana pendek atau rok pendek. Berbeda dengan kode pakaian, peraturan perlindungan diri mencakup apa yang harus dipakai atau dikenakan untuk melindungi diri dari berbagai jenis bahaya. Gunakan kacamata pengaman untuk melindungi mata, sarung tangan yang sesuai ketika menangani bahan kimia, jas laboratorium untuk melindungi kulit dan pakaian, jangan lupa untuk mencuci tangan sebelum meninggalkan laboratorium. Mengetahui arti label terdapat pada botol sangat penting ketika menangani bahan kimia untuk menghindari kesalahan, berbahaya untuk kesehatan, beracun, iritasi, korosif, oksidator, mudah terbakar, polutan. Tidak cukup di sini saja, ada beberapa hal yang perlu diperhatikan dalam penanganan bahan kimia. Misalnya, ketika memanaskan larutan menggunakan tabung reaksi. Isi tabung reaksi maksimal sepertiganya. Tabung reaksi hendaknya terletak pada bagian atas api pemanas. Goyangkan tabung reaksi agar pemanasan merata. Arahkan mulut tabung reaksi pada tempat yang aman agar percikannya tidak melukai orang lain ataupun diri sendiri. Created using Powtoon. Oh, hello there. My name is Auburn Thompson. You may recognize me from such films as the Publix Front End Service training video, or that one episode of Cops. But I'm here to talk to you today about lab safety. Here at All Saints Academy, we pride ourselves on two things. The first being academic excellence. And the second being, of course, lab safety. I was just about to share with you how many accident-free days we have had. What do you think? Three, four, maybe five. It's higher than that. Four weeks, five, six weeks maybe. Oh, keep counting. We've had 389. That can't be good. It burns! That's gonna leave a mark. <sighs> Practicing lab safety, I'm going to wash my hands at the wash area, and then I'm gonna bandage my foot. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Thank goodness I had my glasses on. 
that's not water. Isopropyl alcohol. Ugh. Kids, when it comes to lab safety, it's very important to be aware of your... Ah! Fire! 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 Protective gloves when handling chemicals. unless instructed to do so. It burns! Don't! <sighs> Violation! No open-toed shoes on lab day, even dress-out days. That's gonna leave a mark. <sighs> Practicing lab safety. I'm going to wash my hands at the wash area, and then I'm going to bandage my foot. <sighs> Violation! Place backpacks under the tables. <sighs> Violation! Where? There! Do not place items on the edge of a table or lab bench. Oh. Thank goodness I have my glasses on. Oh? Wrong! Violation! Always wear safety goggles. Prescription glasses are not acceptable. That's not water. Isopropyl alcohol. Ugh. Kids, when it comes to lab safety, it's very important to be aware. Violation! Always turn off the Bunsen burner when not in use. Do not recreate any of the stunts you have seen on TV in the lab or at home. No food or drinks allowed in the science lab. No cell phones allowed during school. Your mom can call the office if there's an emergency. Failure to follow the safety rules may cause instant death. Do not visit Tokyo during Godzilla season. Growing a goatee will not make you cool. Carol never wore her safety goggles. She must have been absent on lab safety day. <laughs> <laughs> 